Here's what's new at the Bridgewire facility. Remember when we told you that belt sander had bad bearings and we couldn't repair it anymore? Well, wait a minute. It turns out we were able to actually repair it. Um, basically, we did an MDF uh, pulley and we put it in all brand new bearings and this sucker is running super quiet now. In addition to that, we also took the opportunity to fix and replace the, the system we had for dust collection. Um, it's now much easier. Um, you have full access to easily replace the belt. Um, as you can see here, no problem. Take off the belt and put on the new belt. We also had to repair the planer. It literally had a meltdown. Um, we had to buy a brand new pulley, which was the source of the problem, and we had then had to do machining on it. We also replaced the bearings, belt, and we even had to 3D print a brand new belt cover for this system. We've updated our router table to become a dual purpose router table. You can use the traditional Rockler fence for general routing, or you can remove that fence and then gain access to our brand new INCRA twin linear uh, positioner and fence. Um, this is very similar to their current LS positioner and allows you to have accuracy to within one thousandths of an inch. We've also added a drill press table uh, with scales, stops, and clamp downs. We've also gained a brand new jet bandsaw. Um, this bandsaw has 12 inches of clearance for resawing. We've also modified it to add a secondary dust collector. You're probably asking what happened to the old 1948 uh, Delta bandsaw. Well, we've repurposed it for metal cutting. Uh, we reduced its height and then we rebuilt the slow speed gearbox with new bearings, seals, and of course new fluids. We now have a bandsaw that can cut almost any non-hardened metal. We also invested a bit of money into our giant Clossing lathe. It now has the ability to cut threads both left and right. We also made an upgrade to our laser cutter. We invested in a CW5200 chiller to ensure our laser tubes stay cool and will not burn out. The RFID door controller electronics have been relayed out and they now reside within a cabinet which is dust proof. And if you haven't seen it, Bridgewire now has a Star Wars themed bathroom. Check back next month to see what happened this month.